when I travel, I usually find myself with a lot of extra time on my hands. And I tend to like to try to wander around the cities just to kind of get a feel for the local space. During one of my recent trips, I walked into a clock shop, you know, one that made watches and grandfather clocks, one of the old craftsman style, you know, the one where the, guy, the old guy's behind the bench putting together the individual pieces and designing his own clocks and watches. So I walked in, I looked around, and it brought back some memories as a child. I grew up in Chicago, and my mom had a grandmother clock in the dining room, you know, the one with the pendulum, and it would swing back and forth, it would chime on the quarter hour. In fact, it just drove visitors crazy coming in and listening to that chiming in the middle of the night when they were staying at the house. Now, I walked into the shop and I walked looking around and all of a sudden I realized that all of the pendulums are swinging in unison. They're actually synchronized. I talked to the old man running the shop and I asked him, I said, did you do this on purpose? And he goes, no. He says, no matter what clock I put on the floor, I'll start the pendulum. Eventually, all the pendulums will become synchronized. Now I'm thinking that this is kind of a, you know, a joke or something, but in reality, what happens is, is there's a, a, a phenomenon called entrainment. Entrainment is really the, the impact of masses on other masses. It, uh, it shows itself in a variety of different things in, in just our day-to-day -day lives. But in this case, it showed up in the form of these pendulums all being synchronized. Now, as I reflected on this, I thought about life in the business world, right? You come in as an organization to be the innovator. You're going to change the organization. You're going to totally uh, disrupt the processes and make the organization move faster. That's great at the beginning of the process of being an, an innovator, but after two, three, four years, what happens? You get sucked into the organization and you start swinging at the pace and at the cycle that the organization operates in. Now that's fine, but the problem is, is that you've got caught up in this entrainment, this entrainment of the organization that you're part of. So the question is, is, how do you not become part of that? Well, if you're in a clock shop and you want the pendulums to be all out of sync, what do you do? You reach in and you swing them at a different pace. You actually give it a little bit of a push. This is the case when you're inside of an organization. If you're the innovation team, if you're the innovative leader within your organization, Swing the clock, swing that pendulum a little bit harder, work out of sync, recognize that you're getting caught up in this entrainment process, and do something different. Your other option is stop the pendulum. Stop it. Take a break. Go on a long vacation. Come back refreshed. Try something new. Possibly move into a different part of the organization that you're in. Or, in the extreme case, leave the organization you're at. Go find an area where you can have that kind of impact and that kind of influence, where you can operate and have that change. But don't throw in the towel too early or too easy. It's easy for all of us just to kind of want to get into a normal pattern. Even those of us who espouse the, the value of innovation within an organization, it's easy even for us to kind of get into that comfort of things just moving along at a set pace and speed. But it's sometimes you just got to disrupt. You just got to do something different. So, the word this week is, are you caught up in your own version of entrainment and the pendulum swing within your organization? If you are, do something different.